Today we're going to test out something that I've wondered about in the past, and I feel like maybe other people would like to know the answer to this as well. For this test, I've prepared this bowl of water here. Wait just a second. Yeah, okay, that's water. And we're going to be testing out a couple of different inner sleeves to see how well would double sleeving your cards protect them from water. So we're going to sleeve up this card. Actually, I want to keep that one. We're going to sleeve up this willing test subject that I have here. First, we're going to try it out in just a single sleeve with these Dragon Shield red mats. And then we're going to double sleeve it using these perfect fits. And then we're going to try it out once more using these perfect fit sealables. You might notice that all of these products are from Dragon Shield. If you'd like to make any purchases from Dragon Shield, I do have an affiliate link in the video description below, which I definitely recommend using. But we're going to start off with just this single sleeve here. Now I suspect that this one will float. I mean, the card itself would float, but I don't think it's going to protect it so well. But uh, let's find out and see, shall we? All right, so it's been a little bit and it is floating. It doesn't look like any water has gotten into the sleeve yet. Honestly, that's actually working out better than I expected already. What if I were to, say, put an enchantment on top of it? I mean, yeah, it does float. Um, as long as it stays on top of the water, I feel like it... It might actually be okay. If I take the card out... So have to be careful to not get any of the water from the outside of the sleeve on it. But... Pleasantly surprised already, actually. But a single sleeve wasn't the point of the video, so we're going to double sleeve it now. And I actually want to try submerging it in water to see how well the double sleeve might protect it. As you know, a lot of times when you double sleeve cards, they end up being full of air. And you kind of have to squeeze the air out in order to be able to fit your deck into the deck box. Let's try it out. Okay, so obviously if the single sleeve floated, this one will float too, but let's see how well this protects it when it's actually in the water. Give it a really good dunk. Okay, let's let's take a look at this now. So water has gotten inside the single sleeve, but I feel like the card should be okay. Yes, there's water inside here. Seems all right to me. So now let's try it with this sealable inner sleeve. So some of you might not have seen things like this before, but it's, it's an inner sleeve, but it has this extra little flap here that you can fold in to seal up the bottom of the sleeve as well. So now it should be basically completely sealed and then we'll throw it into an outer sleeve as well. I don't know, I feel like this is going to work pretty well, but let's try it out. So yeah, it's floating nicely there. Let's give it a good dunk though. What if I hold it underwater for a few seconds? I did see an air bubble come out. Another one. I feel like the card's going to be fine, but just for some added protection, I'm going to give it protection from blue here. Let's take a look at it though. And see how it turned out. So once again, some water did get in this one, so you definitely want to be playing at least double sleeved if you're playing in water. I don't think anything got inside this one though. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, wait, oh no, there is some water there. I wonder if that was just some that got off of the outside of the sleeve as I took it out, because I guess you could potentially just let this dry and then take it out. But regardless, I mean, this surpassed my expectations. I thought that, you know, the card would eventually just get water in it and sink after a while, but... Maybe, maybe it does actually work better than I expected. 
so given these results, though, would I recommend playing Magic in a lake? No, I don't recommend it. Use code 8th place Dave to save 5% on your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store, where qualified orders receive free shipping Canada wide. Support the channel and visit face to face games.com today.